Hello everyone! I did a video pretty recently showing you guys how I made that kind of questionable ball pit thing. Charming, peaceful, and warm. I'm back at it again to explain to you guys how to do that teleporter thing. I really like building like nice little houses like this one, but I think I'm way more passionate about just making death traps and harassing my friends so they can't go in my house. So I think I'm gonna make it a goal to never buy anything from the teapot salesman, the traveling teapot guy, and make it so that it's really hard to get to him. And then that way, if I find out that his shop is bought, out. That means someone was capable of escaping my traps. <laughs> so I'm trying to come up with more ideas for traps rather than these cute little houses because nobody, let's be honest, nobody cares about this. <laughs> nobody cares about all the work and love that went into making this little, this little birthday dinner place. Nobody cares. So let's make death traps instead. So if you haven't seen the video on this ball pit before, I'll show you now. See how it teleports me up here in this like underneath area. So the way that I designed this is there's no way to get out of it once you're inside of it and you always spawn inside of it because I have the teleporter hanging on the edge there. <laughs> and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Yeah, so this was my first death pit. So the idea is that if I make a death pit on every island that people can't get out of, then it'll be really impressive if people are capable of buying all of the dogs out of my shop. It's kind of just an experiment to see who's willing to go through the trouble to buy out my shop. <laughs> this is gonna stay the way that it is, but I'm thinking this island here, we might do a little bit of experimenting on. Do you need to move these out of the way? Chong Yoon, it's time to go, buddy. Go to sleep. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do the like teleporter death trap because there's a particular way that you have to go about doing it. You're going to want to do minimum of three landforms for this. I would suggest using um, these little ones. These are the refined beauty ones. These ones work really well for this. So I like to take two of these. So you can see with these little refined beauty blocks that they're like bezeled or beveled? What's the right word? <laughs> I don't know. But the point is there's like these edges that are not considered to be areas that you can place things. Like where I'm standing as XQ right now is the edge of the area that you can put stuff. But they have these like edges here. Basically you're gonna want to put the teleporter on the side that has the least amount of like beveling because it's less likely that you will stay when you spawn there <laughs> as long as it's hanging off the side. As far as what I've found out that seems to be which side is it this one right here this corner on the refined beauty and the reason why this one's also good is because if you'll notice even if I walk off of it there's no ledge to catch me and some of these other sides do have ledges like for example if you put the teleporter here if you fell off it would like let you land on these this like here for example and you don't want that you want your friends to fall to their death <laughs> so that's why this side is is the best in my opinion because once they fall off they fall off back to building back to the building menu the way that i do this is i take where the f even is it <laughs> if you look at the teleporter this side of the teleporter placement area is going to be where you spawn so this is what you want to be hanging off of the edge this corner right here is the yummy corner so i'm going to rotate this so that it's facing this other one and I'm going to start moving them closer together and I'm going to rotate the teleporter so that it faces that yummy edge and as you can see you can place the teleporter slightly off the edge like that and normally as you can see if I move this over if I tried to place it there now it won't work but if you do it while it's next to another landform like that it will work basically I just move it over as far as I possibly can and I keep kind of making small adjustments to see just how close to the edge I can get it to be so that's pretty good for me now you can quickly save and double check that it will spawn you off the side As you can see it teleported me on the ground which is perfect that's exactly what I want by the way the max stack for these landforms is going to be what is it again I think it's five so it maxes out at six I lied I'm a liar but I am going to put one of these here and now you can see I'll be able to stack this like that make sure that it's hanging over the free edge and you'll see now when I teleport let's see if it works I am out Straight to the death. And that is how you make a death teleporter. 
Take me back. Oh. <laughs> These poor little characters being used as test subjects. One thing that I do want to mention really quickly is that if you do, so if you're like a, if you're like a building connoisseur in Genshin, you kind of know how to do this like weird layering technique stuff. I will say that normally what you do with these techniques is you kind of go like this and you set them like next to each other like this. And then you would kind of do one of these as opposed to this scenario, you would kind of do this in most situations because most things will not agree to sit here like that, like the teleporters do. If you do it this way and don't do it off the edge like that, I'll show you quickly. I don't even know which one is which one. So as you can see, even though the edge of the teleporter is off the side over here, it spawned me on top of this safe area per se. Also, sometimes what it does is maybe this would have worked and it would have spawned me off the side, but every now and then it will spawn you correctly. And that's obviously not what you want. So make sure that you do that weird like this way as opposed to this way, because this will let you get that guaranteed. It should work every time. This is what I found with this. <laughs> if you do it this way, it tends to not work every time but this way is pretty pretty tried and true for me at least it's like a death on spawn no matter what <laughs> and this height is good enough to kill you i'm ar 55 and my characters are all 90 for the most part like 80 to 90 full set artifacts so this distance does kill them if you're only capable of doing a five stack that will kill i think it will still kill couldn't break yeah so that curse. that distance still does kill <laughs> anything below that i believe is uh, the threshold for where it it will no longer kill uh under five so you need to have a minimum of five to be able to guarantee the kill for people that are ar like 55 with like level 80 to 90 characters somewhere between the like 18 to 30 thousand health range they will die so yeah uh enjoy i <laughs> I'm gonna design some more like jail and like trap ideas here. I'll show you guys those when they're done. For the time being, I just wanted to show you how to do that teleporter thing because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> so anyway, uh, take care guys and have a good day. Bye.